Hey, I'm always talking about Google Screen. I think it's one of the best lead generation programs out there, but you have to work it. If you want it to work, you have to work it as they say. So I'm going to have you join me here on a Google Screen audit of one of our former clients, Alicia Castillo. Previously, I helped get set up. In my mind, it's not that complicated. Now that the program has been around for two years, I'm seeing a huge difference between people doing it themselves versus people that had been set up with us, but we didn't continue to manage. And then our clients whose profiles we actually manage. And I want to show you some of those numbers. So here, joining me on this audit that I'm sending all of my clients again, we have a method that we go through. I hit many of the high points here. You don't have time to be messing with this. You need someone to stay on top of these things for you. And now two years later, the data proves that working with us makes your Google screen work better. So without further ado, let's go in to the data that we share with our clients. So in this case, I want to walk you through this table. I'm not going to read it to you, but I want you to understand what it is. So when you set up your Google screen, that's a local service ad. Well, there's still Google ad data being collected. And when you're an agency like ours and you're managing dozens and dozens of clients, then we're able to aggregate those results and get some great averages. As a matter of fact, pretty much everyone I've worked with over the last two years, I'm still tracking how they're doing and trying to create a compelling argument for our agency to manage the ad for them on a monthly basis. But I still get to monitor their, their results. And then there's our client average. And in this particular case, Alicia is not working with us on a monthly basis. And so I'm going to show you her data. First is the nationwide average. As I've discussed in the past, this is what we see nationwide. These are the averages. And it's pretty interesting. The average person across the nation that's Google screen is getting 1600 impressions and 100 clicks in a month. They're getting a 5% click through rate. They're paying a 18 per click. So their average monthly cost to Google is only a hundred dollars. And then the conversions, how Google measures the conversions is not quite accurate, but generally speaking, three conversions would be three actual leads. Our previous clients are those that I still track where I trained them. They didn't feel they were getting value and I still track them. I still care, but we're not actively managing them anymore. And that typically goes really, really bad. If you leave and try to do it yourself, there was a reason you came to me to do it for you. And if you leave and try to do it yourself, this is what I see time and time again, fewer clicks, fewer impressions, comparable click through rate, comparable cost per click, but the, uh, and the same number of conversions by their measurement. But this is the big thing, 30% less clicks. That's huge. Every time you get a click, that's a big deal. They're going into your profile. They're reading your reviews, which is another thing where we're helping you with your reviews, but also staying on your case about, Hey, you need some reviews. And so Alicia will be a good example of that when I show you the next box here, but continuing on through this, our client average is substantially higher, 80% higher, more impressions, comparable click through rate, paying more per click, but I don't think this number is accurate because we're also aggressively pursuing your disputes to make sure you don't pay for things that aren't leads. Like if renters are calling, you shouldn't be paying for that. And so we are doing our best to get Google to give you that money back. So this is probably a lot lower, but regardless, it's more leads. So it's good. And the conversions, again, not a great accurate measurement, but by Google's measurement, getting a lot more conversions per month. Now with Alicia, we set her up, we trained her and she did not choose to accept that. And here we are months later and it's just performing so badly. 13 clicks, 917 impressions, only a 1% click through rate and August, nothing happened to get a little more clarity into that. This is where you need someone like us helping you with your reviews and then staying on top of you to continue to get them. Google now requires that you have five reviews at a minimum. It used to be one, now it's five. So in Alicia's case, she could be off the platform. She could get kicked off because she's not meeting the minimum criteria. 
at a minimum, they're moving her down the list. The analogy I like to use is this is like you live in a subdivision and you're not taking care of your lawn. The HOA is going to send you a letter. Hey, you need to take care of your lawn. Google doesn't send you a letter. Google just all of a sudden doesn't allow your key card to work at the pool. They stop sending you your bills so you don't pay them. They start neglecting you. That's what Google does. They quietly stop promoting your profile because I, as I tell everyone from the beginning, you have to be a good Google partner. Google screen is the answer to, I need a realtor that's nearby and I don't want all the big tech. I need a realtor. So that top result for Google screen is all the local results. Google needs people that will get reviews and answer the phone. So that's why Alicia is suffering here. And again, I'm going to send this to her to encourage her to work with us on a monthly basis. We charge a very low fee that barely covers our costs, but it's because I feel this is so important. You know, I just want to add value to you. And then when you have success here, we can talk about other services. That's really my intent when I manage you and help you get better results is let's continue to reinvest your Google dollars in other Google strategies. But that's a summary. That's our audit. And that is kind of it. Maybe I didn't go into enough about the reviews here. She needs five. She's at three. So she's in danger. I did want to point out, it shows you how long your reviews were four months ago. So we would have been sending her communications weekly. Hey, we need another review. And I cover that completely in my training. Who you ask for reviews? Where do you go to get reviews? And it needs to be a part of what you do because when you get Google reviews, Google will pay you back for that activity. So there you go. If you would like us to manage your profile, or if you would like to learn more about Google screen, then give me a chat in Facebook. I'm always in Facebook with a messenger, send me a note and we'll have a conversation. Have a great day.